We'll start this lesson off by helping you to understand what Hyper-V extensible switches are and how this new functionality can help you. This is a brand new feature in Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V. Now, your virtual switches in Hyper-V can be extended with new functionality. What this means is that new virtual network switch extensions can be inserted into the Hyper-V kernel providing high performance functionality such as virtual network monitoring, security, bandwidth throttling, policies, and more. Some examples of extensions are virtual firewalls or security scanning applications. Some of the Hyper-V switch extensions that I learned about at Microsoft TechEd this year are Five9's Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware Solution, Inmon's S-Flow Packet Capture and Analysis Tool, Cisco Nexus 1000 v for Hyper-V Now, and Broadcom Denial of Service Prevention. In this lesson, I'd like to demonstrate for you one of those tools that I selected, and that is the 5.9 Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware Solution. It integrates with Windows Server 2012 and takes example of the Hyper-V Virtual Switch extensibility. You can use this application to filter traffic as it traverses your Hyper-V virtual network. You can create rules to allow certain types of traffic for example, IP pairs or protocols deny that type of traffic or even block and log that traffic. Additionally, anti-malware functionality is included to actually scan the traffic traversing the virtual network for malicious activity, viruses, and worms. So with that, let's go over to our Hyper-V lab and I'll demonstrate for you the 5.9 Virtual Firewall and Anti-Malware Hyper-V Switch Extension. Here I am inside my Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V host, and what I wanted to demonstrate is the new extensibility of the Hyper-V virtual switch. So if I go in and I click on the virtual switch manager here, and that brings up my list of switches. Right now I just have one switch. If I click on extensions for that switch, notice this line right here. Microsoft Windows Filtering Platform, that's abbreviated WFP, that's the Windows Filtering Platform. And down here, there's one new extension that's been added, and that's from 5.9 Software. It's their Security Manager Data Center Edition. They've got a few different editions of their software. That software includes a virtual firewall and anti-malware solution that integrates with the Hyper-V virtual switch. So you could have other extensions down here, extensions, for example, that export data into an S-Flow collector, or extensions that do virtual network monitoring. You can turn this on and off per virtual switch that's created on the Hyper-V host. And once the extension is enabled, at this point, the 5.9 Security Manager application has access to the traffic that's traversing and moving across this virtual switch. So if we go over to the 5.9 Security Manager, notice over here on the left-hand side in the tree, it sees our host, Hyper-V1, and it also sees the different virtual machines that are created on that host. If I right-click on the host and go into Settings, by default, it's enabling the monitoring of all new virtual machines that are created. So as I created these new virtual machines, they were automatically configured to be monitored. If I right-click on one of these, notice how I can turn monitoring on or off per virtual machine. When the virtual machine isn't bold like that, that means it's not being monitored. When it is bold, that means it's being monitored by the 5.9 virtual firewall. So I can control it per virtual machine. This application sees the virtual machines as they're added to the Hyper-V host. Of course, they're removed when they're removed from the Hyper-V host. And then think of this as a virtual firewall. So I can go in here and I can add IP rules, ARP rules, broadcast rules, and it can also scan the virtual network for malicious traffic signatures. For example, malware like antivirus, trojans, and worms. All those things can be scanned for as that network traffic traverses the virtual network. So for example, if you're going to download, let's say, a virus through an email, it's going to have to come to that virtual machine over the virtual network. Really, everything that could potentially enter that virtual machine that's bad is going to come through the virtual network. And because this virtual firewall and anti-malware solution has direct access to the packets that are traversing the virtual switch in Hyper-V, it can scan for any sort of malicious traffic. 
So let's go ahead in here and create an IP rule for the production web server. We'll say we want to add an IP rule. We'll call this HTTP only for the rule. And we'll say allow inbound web traffic. The action, of course, is allow. The protocol is TCP. The type is inbound. Port number is 80 because it's HTTP web traffic. And look in here. If we go into the remote VMs, and notice how it automatically recognizes what virtual machines are running on this host. So if we wanted to say, for example, allow HTTP web traffic only from the CEO's desktop computer to this production web server, that's something we could do here. I'll say OK. Notice it says it knows the remote virtual machine. I'll say OK there. And we just added a new HTTP rule. Down here on the log file, it's going to tell us what traffic is allowed and what traffic is denied for each of the virtual machines. So it's a fully functioning stateful firewall and anti-malware solution for the Hyper-V virtual infrastructure. And while this is a pretty unique product at this time, I'm sure other similar products will follow, perhaps from large companies such as Cisco. And again, this is just one example of how the new Windows Server 2012 Hyper-V virtual extensible switch can be extended with solutions such as virtual firewall, deep packet analysis, network monitoring, and so forth. So with that, let's go back to our slides. And that brings us to the conclusion of this lesson on understanding Hyper-V virtual extensible switches. Thanks for watching.